All right, so welcome back. We are now going to um, work on our image sequence. And, but first, before we do anything though, we need to interpret the footage because it is not 1920 by 1080. It's actually 1280 by 1080. So we need to make some changes to this. So let's jump in and see how we can change up the footage before we even bring it into a timeline. So if you look at our source panel here, you can see that it's in a weird boxy, almost completely square. So let's make a change to that. We can do that. Now my layout's a little bit different today. It's in editing mode now. Um, if I select my footage down here in my project panel, <clears throat> and I'm going to right click on that, and I'm going to say modify interpret footage. Okay, and this window pops up here. There's a lot of different things you can do with the modify clip interpret footage um, options. One thing is you can adjust the frame rate. So if you're shooting at 120 frames a second, you wanna slow something down because your final output will be say 23.976. You could do that here by assuming the frame rate and typing in 23.976. Um, we're gonna keep that, we're gonna leave that alone for this particular project. Um, let's see here. We're going to adjust the pixel aspect ratio. That's what we want to adjust, okay? So <clears throat> to do that, we're gonna say conform to. And then this little drop down box, we're gonna come all the way down here and say DVC Pro HD 1.5 and click that, okay? With that, we're gonna leave everything else the same. We're gonna click okay. Look at that, just like that, it stretched it all out. It looks nice now. Let's go ahead and create a composition with this. So I'm gonna create a new composition, new sequence, right? And uh, ABC HD, 1080p, 30 frames, right? Um, and there's a bunch of information on the right-hand side here. Uh, take some time to look at it, okay? This is 16 by nine, progressive scan, 1080p video, 29.97 frames per second, okay? Um, and it gives you some information about that. Let's go ahead and create this and call this, um, chroma key and click OK. To test our theory of what we did, uh, the reason why we created a sequence that is 29.97 is because our footage is also 29.97 and that's fine for keying and for what we're doing. We're going to keep it 30 frames. I'm going to grab my, my clip and drag it out into my timeline. Keep existing settings. And just like that, look at that, it fills the frame pretty nicely, looks good. Um, I put it on the second level because I know I'm going to be putting a background in later on. Um, so I just kind of jumped ahead and thought ahead of, of what I'm about to do. So just to save a step for later. Hope this helps. In the next video, we're going to do some warp stabilization and uh, we're going to then move into keying. We're almost there. So I'll see you in the next video.